This is NBC6 South Florida Today. But today we're getting a taste of Jamaica and I'm sure some of you have tried the island's popular jerk chicken and those beef patties are so good. But the island has so much more to offer when it comes to cuisine and here to serve up a bold Jamaican dish is Chef Steve. You know him from our show and who's accompanied by here uh, Ruby Henry of the Jamaica Tourist Board. And Chef, I know. Good morning. How good are you? morning. Thank good. you for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having us. I love Jamaica. I've been there twice. Of course, I've been to the popular touristy parts. Oh, Ocho yeah. Rios and Kingston. Um, oh, and we the have food. To, like, food we have great. to get you to Negril. You, were, you said you haven't been to Negril, so we have to get you back. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually relinquishing a very deep held secret today. We know a lot about each other because I'm on the show a lot, but let me tell you, my favorite place in the world that I've been going to for 30 years, now you're supposed to say you don't look that old, <laughs> is, is, you don't. Is, is Negril, Jamaica, because it's like an hour and a half from here, and the island is so beautiful, and although the whole island is beautiful, that's my favorite spot, it's like my rebalance spot, and it's so interesting because like the people of J Jamaica, the food is such an amalgam, and I go there as a food guy, and, and I love the fact that everything there from the island is grown there, and it comes from a couple of miles from where they cook it, and it's a really interesting mix. It's uh, a mixture of Chinese, uh, Indian, uh, African, or it's French British, a little bit. British, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Just like, you know, just like Ooh, the people. And, and Jamaica's motto is out of many one. So, mm -hmm. so is our, our cuisine. And um, what we've done is that, you know, we have the curry um, brought in by the Indians. Um, we have the jerk, which has the Af African influence, which is very spicy. Mm -hmm. And um, the Chinese, we have some great Chinese uh, cuisine in Jamaica. So we, we have um, something, uh, what we've done, we've taken those traditional cuisines and we have notched it out up a bit like for our curried dishes we um have instead of doing curried lamb we do curried goat which mm -hmm. is a very popular dish very and and the jerk we've done we, you can get jerk fish jerk chicken oh, jerk pork, yeah. everything you but know it's, it's much more complex than that like a lot of the ingredients on the table oh. here are all indigenous and you know roxanne chefs in our country here we're trying to do sustainable cuisine and local food and that's what they've been doing in jamaica forever so when you go there all these ingredients grow there and the only thing they use on the island are things that grow there. Now They're we're making a, a really typical dish today which is okay. called escovich. Okay. It's like you said earlier, it's kind of like ceviche. Like a ceviche. Now although our pan is not quite hot enough as you can see from, it uh, looks like we're having a little technical difficulty with, with our pan, pan, which is fine because I can sit here and cook well after oh. you're off camera. <laughs> but what we're going to do is, I'm going to sear, this is local fresh wahoo, and I'm going to very lightly sear it. I just dredged it very lightly in flour, but I'm putting all indigenous ingredients in here. Here I have allspice berries. Mm -hmm. This is really, you know, a very, very typical, they call it pimento Typi Pimento in Jamaica. It's got this very aromatic, wonderful aroma. And here's fresh ginger, which of course, oh, you know, you amazing. smell this. It's like oh, totally it's amazing. Jamaican ginger is the best ginger in the world. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to throw in a couple of pieces for a more aromatherapy because they get pulled out later. I wish this was on a little bit higher, mm -hmm. but hey, but just get the effect, you know? Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is after the fish is seared, again, I put in all local ingredients. This is fresh aromatic thyme. Oh, and this yes. is like one of the most incredible. Oh, this is my favorite. Yeah, this oh, is Jamaica. Just great. And so again, we, throw this we in. love a lot of thyme and in actually, Jamaica. We, yeah, thyme is very, very, very prevalent. Very prevalent. And I just want to show you this. This doesn't go in the dish, but it's so interesting. This is aki. And aki is kind of yeah. like that rare ingredient, like, I don't know if you've uh, seen those stories about the, uh, the uh, fugu fish in Japan. Mm -hmm. If it's handled the wrong way, you can get very ill from it. Well, the interesting thing about aki is you can only eat it once it's open like this yeah. and the seeds are showing. Because yeah. if you eat it when it's closed yeah. like this, it's really very toxic. Right, right. This is the so national fruit of the Jamaica. National fruit it does. Of Jamaica. Oh, right. And, and interesting, the, the, the pit inside is yellow, and, and we cook that with salted cod, and it becomes the national dish. It's called aki and sawfish. And you know, it's just like uh, the variety of fruits that we have here, we have a variety of festivals that are built around. We have a festival for everything. We have uh, a veggie festival, and our most popular festival is the Reggae Sum Fest, which takes place in July. And um, we have also a jerk festival where you can sample all our jerk cuisine. So um, we and have a, a grand lot of, of the yes. jerk festival. <laughs> <laughs> the jerk oh, cuisine. Really? Yeah. Of course, log on to NBC6.net, click on Ask Scene on NBC6 to get this recipe. Hey, Lots of oh, great yeah. I'm good, how are you? Love that. I Village is next. Enjoy Bob Mayer live on NBC6. Net for the Newsnet at noon. That smells great. It smells pretty good. Nice. It's starting to come out. It's starting to come together. Oh, Golly, you, you save a lot of energy on this segment. <laughs> Two sticks, maybe. Uh. <laughs> I got a lighter back there. <laughs> we may need it, actually. I feel like the jerk festival today. <laughs>
It didn't work at all? Well, raw cuisine is very big now, Bob. We all know yes. that. This is my way of kind of... You know, your, your sushi. This is my uh, raw food, almost cooked food experience. That just salutes the raw food.